Hey, howdy and good morning. You know what that is? That's a viper. You know what's also scary? Engineers. And this morning we're talking about this stuff, but really about vipers and engineers. Buckle up and here we go. We're back. Surge protectors. Some of the comments I get from you guys are fantastic. What am I saying? All of them are. I love you engineers. Here's why that's important. So coming up through the ranks of being an electrician, engineers, not my favorite people, and you know why. So there's a few, especially the gentleman from South Africa, your stuff's fantastic as an engineer because you explain this stuff. So let me, let me address while the engineers are over here glo gloating because I got noticed. Homeowners, I look at this stuff online and I, I've been doing some deep diving, right? Because I want you and I to talk about surge protectors why but which ones really should you pick and man the engineer stuff is horrible i've got a page up from uh, nema surge protection institute right it almost was like a sleeping pill just saying the name digging through us okay what's important and there's some of the engineers who are commenting god bless you i was like oh that's what all that means for instance homeowners when you're looking at all the fine print on here like that okay look at that look at that look at that i don't even know what that all means oh here's here's one by ditech here's our number three where's that at here's ditech stuff here let's flip that i'm talking to you michael i know you're watching okay so here's i can i uh rated and went through and compared these three so i'm gonna boil this down to you on just a couple of items okay there is pages Believe me, pages and pages and pages of information with numbers and letters with little subscripts. I said that in high school, and I said never again, and here I am back, right? Such a mistake. Here you go. A couple of numbers. We talked about Vipers. VPR. I couldn't help myself. Pfft, hand puppet. Right away. Viper, snake, grandkids. Sidebar. Love my grandkids. Back to you. VPR stands for Voltage Protection rating. It's one of the few things that varies between all this garbage on the market. You can look it up. It's worth you looking it up. Here's the thing. The lower that number is, the less voltage these bad boys will let into your system during a surge. So most of these have very similar numbers. You guys know I love First Surge FS140 by Siemens, and their numbers are pretty decent. You look here, VPR, they're pretty low. All the phases, most of their numbers are 600, phase to phase is 900. Not bad. Ditech. Here's, again, not made for old people. But here, phase to phase was 1,200. 600, a little bit higher, a little bit lower. Eaton. Same kind of numbers. So I'm thinking, okay, what's really the difference here? Because, to be honest, beyond the hoopla and shiny, glossy sheets and all the stuff you see, the numbers are pretty much the same between these three. Shocker, right? I'm thinking Siemens, Eaton, Ditech. It's like, well, okay, so where are we looking at? So let me throw out, besides VPR, second item I want, I want to throw to you, okay? Engineers, just take notes. I know you're going to dump on me when we're done. That's okay. You guys are great. Jesus loves you. It's all good. MOVs versus uh, TPMOVs, and that's the only big difference and I know Siemens and Eaton are now rolling over and frothing. The biggest difference with DITEC, okay, is they use thermally protected MOVs, which stand for metallic oxide varistors, um, which is MOVs have been what surge protectors have been using for the last 45 years primarily. And I'll add some pictures of the guts of these. <laughs> DITEC, you made a mistake. You gave me screws. I opened this up. Same with Eaton. I opened this bad boy up. I'll share some guts. It's really cool. Siemens, you guys must know about us kind of guys, because this is thermally sealed. I would have to take a sawzall to this to open it. Didn't get to open it. Kind of disappointed because it's impressive. I want to know what's inside. Anyways, the guts of this look different. It's not like the others. Thermally protected MOVs. Here's the only thing for you to know. When these things get hit, right, at your house by a big surge, the MOVs, if the hit's big enough, the surge, they self-sacrifice. They 
burn up into a cloud of dust and, and bad smells and save your house. So they're one-shot deals. Wow. Here's the difference. T thermally protected MOVs, the difference is they might burn up, and when they do that, this is still protected. Okay? So that's, as I take it, again, DITEC, correct me if I'm wrong, but in my extensive, nearly narcoleptic reading, that was the biggest difference. These don't self-sacrifice, they continue to protect. The, the difference is, if you guys, if we have another surge right after the first one, and these are smoked, which, again, how likely, I don't know. If these are smoked, next surge, you're, you're done, you're cooked, okay? So, with the, the rest of the numbers being basically the same, the real numbers, I'm not talking about like surge amps, this is 140,000 surge amps, 108,000, this is right at 100,000. Um, when I boiled it down, not that much difference, okay? So, at the end of the day, look at your Viper, okay? VPR, that's a thing. And that helped me so much to realize that was a measurable, something I could actually tangibly measure that was a, a number versus somebody's claims. And the other thing is just that difference between MOVs and TP MOVs. Here's the big, the final thing. I'm gonna let you go on this because there's more. But it's look, look at all these notes. Look at all that red I wrote. That's where I was at last night. D don't get into this. Embarrassing. There's some stuff in there probably that I don't need to read. But at the end of the day, if you're thinking about doing surge protection, I hate to say it this way. If you put anything in, you're better off than it went before you had nothing. Okay, I've had a couple people that were confused. Don't, don't go ask the guy in the aisle at Home Depot. Don't talk to your power provider, the salesman who sells you electricity. Uh, don't talk to your nephew who puts in car alarms. Do the research yourself. This has come up. I'm, yeah, yeah. I'm just a, a master electrician with 30 years experience. And, well, I talked to my friend in the Home Depot aisle. It's like, okay, understand. Do the research, look at the VPR. That's a great place to start. Surge amps helps as well. Final thing was warranty, thank you. 10 year warranty, 10 year warranty. Some of these have lifetime depending on the unit, but 10 years is pretty standard. Surprisingly, five years, okay? This one came out of my house, hence it's dirty and has some bird poop, but came out of my house I put the first surge back. This is going back outside. Thank you, gentleman who shared. He said, oh, why are you putting that in your sub panel? Again, that was because we were doing a flush mount. This is going back outside sometime soon. I could say today that's probably a lie, but it's gonna come out there soon. We're gonna go back outside to the main panel where it belongs. Vipers and engineers, tell me your thoughts. Engineers, go ahead and unleash your pages and pages of information. Thank you, good night.